So how can you renew your interest and excitement in your scholarship? Once it stalls, and it certainly will sometime in your career, we all run into periods where it's not an even career, it's an ongoing challenge. The one basic suggestion I have is don't go it alone. Engage with others. You see, all of us are uh, deeply involved in studying big questions, big problems that far exceed our individual capabilities. So if we're going to be able to make a significant contribution to these questions, these buzzing, blooming, confusing questions, don't try to go it alone. Other people have important contributions they can make, both by way of content, but also by way of process. Uh, to, to be engaged with other scholars means that you also have collaborators that you can, who, who can support you. You will have individuals who will provide new opportunities, new contacts that will help you renew your interests in an area. Very important, however, is that you have a burning question, that you have a desire, a curiosity that continues to grow and it continues to flourish. This doesn't happen overnight, and in fact, Herbert Simon said it takes about 10 years to become world class at something. If that's the case, we should be engaging with others over a long period of time in order to deepen and gain a more penetrating understanding of what we do. You've seen a fireplace, and you've seen wood uh, burning in the fireplace. Have you noticed what happens to the logs that fall away from the fire? They die out. They go out. To get a fire, to renew this enthusiasm, the, 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 the logs of wood, and I'm just one of those logs, needs to combine with others to create this energy, this wonderful fire that renews our curiosity. So when you find your log rolling away from the community, you'll find that that's when the problems tend to arise. So I encourage you to be engaged, for it provides ongoing renewal to pursue your curiosity. Thank you.